Hi, I'm Pat Harrison. And I'm Erin Harrison, and we're the owners of Horse Mountain Farm. A little history on us. I, my degree is in environmental science. I'm retired from Mead West Vago in Covington, where I spent a long tenure in the environmental group. Erin and I have ran a very fun antique business. In the last two years, I've been helping local entrepreneurs do startups. Um, Aaron Harrison again. I work for Ingevity. I'm the environmental manager there where I have over 30 years of environmental and sustainability management system practices. I uh, work with a lot of state agencies and take care of the regulatory requirements. I'm also the current president of the Allegheny Highlands Chamber of Commerce and Tourism. And as Pat said, we had a good time running our antique business previously. So what got us started in this business? About October of 2019, I was at a gas station where I met up with one of our neighbors and she asked me what Erin and I were doing since we were no longer in the antique business. And I told her I'd cleared some land and had plans on putting in some chestnut orchards. And she told me, she said, well, my husband has been studying blight resistant chestnuts. You might want to speak with him. He's grown some trees. He can give you some advice. So I, I did that and we ordered our seeds in October and we're going to plant them in February. Had four months to think about this and that's when Aaron and I decided we really wanted to go into business and we wanted to do something to help Mother Earth. And that was composting, a warm farm, and growing the Dunstan chestnut trees. Which leads us into our first problem, what we were going to try and solve. So what were the problems that we were trying to solve with our, our business? Well, the first one was the demise of the American chestnut. Uh, the American chestnut was probably the most important food and timber tree in the eastern hardwood forest. And they were almost completely destroyed by fungus, which was introduced in 1904. Within 40 years, there were over 300 million acres of trees killed, making this the worst ecological disaster in American history. So the other problem that Horse Mountain Farm wanted to solve was the lack of environmental stewardship being practiced in the area. We know that every day, 150,000 tons of food is thrown away, even though one in eight Americans go hungry. $153 billion of organic matter is thrown away. In the Allegheny Highlands, if 20,000 residents would compost, they could keep 10,000 tons per year of organic waste out of our landfill, and that could be used to produce 400 tons a year of fresh, healthy food. With a heightened awareness of food scarcity, Due to the pandemic, Horse Mountain Farm is now going to commit additional land to sustainable fruit and vegetable production, and that's where we're going to be expanding. So the solution that Horse Mountain Farm wants to work on is promoting agricultural systems that have a positive impact on the environment, society, and animals, beginning with providing food-bearing trees like the Dunstan chestnuts, doing composting and vermicomposting, and all done in a sustainable manner, and expanding into educating the public on the benefits of composting organic waste versus landfilling. Horse Mountain Farm will partner with local governments and businesses to keep 20,000 pounds of organic matter a year out of our landfill. We'll also be partnering with the school systems to offer environmental stewardship classes and hands-on participation. So how do we determine if our business idea was feasible and had a chance of success? We did a lot of reading, did a lot of research to validate this particular market. And what we found out was that agriculture is Virginia's largest private industry, with greenhouses and nurseries in particular being the third largest type. We also found out that the chestnut demand currently exceeds the supply in the U.S. Factor in the green movement and fears arising from the pandemic, agricultural businesses and homesteading done in a sustainable manner, as well as agritourism, are on the rise. You also have the Generation Zers who act on their concerns about climate change by making their purchasing decisions based on sustainable issues. Horse Mountain Farm will bridge the gap between consumers' attitudes and concerns and their actual buying habits by encouraging planting trees which is one of the most beneficial things to do for the environment, using our own compost instead of fertilizer to enrich the soil, keeping organic matter out of the landfills, not using toxic pesticides, 
and educating the public on ways to protect the environment. Now that we had our market validation, we had to determine our marketing strategy. And to determine that, we started talking to a lot of people and our potential customer base started to grow. With COVID-19, it's almost fortunate that the trees will not be ready for market this year since our business model is based on direct sales at various venues similar to what we used in our antique business. We're using existing relationships and connections plus word of mouth referrals. Our target markets are landowners, the National Wild Turkey Federation Habitat Improvements, the homeowners, hunt clubs, orchards, and Generation Zers. We're going to set up at home and garden shows, farmers markets, sportsmen shows, outdoor festivals, plus direct sales from our hoop house. We will be advertising through Facebook Google Profile, Horse Mountain Farm website, and Virginia Grown website. And we hope to keep us a positive customer relationship with all of our customers. Our goals, first and foremost, was to produce quality trees in a sustainable manner, and composting and vermicomposting. We're also going to use integrated pest management, and that will eliminate the need for toxic chemicals and pesticides. So an example would be using something like praying mantis, the good bugs, to eat the bad bugs. We also want to ensure that we have our repeat customers, so we'll be maintaining a customer database and offering uh, incentives to our customers to get their trust and make sure that they know that they can count on us for quality products. And one of the most important goals to me was to educate the public about going green. And fortunately, we, that's coming into fruition. We are going to be uh, working with the Covington City School System, going into the elementary schools and teaching composting and how to start a worm farm. It's going to be hands-on for the children, and we're, we're looking forward to having that opportunity. Who's our competition? Well, locally, it's really not a lot. We have the Walmart and Tractor Supply. And online, it's Chestnut Hill and Woody's Garden Goods. Walmart this year is supposed to have a few Dunstan chestnut trees from Chestnut Hill in 2020. Tractor Supply only sells American chestnut saplings. None of these competitors are known for their sustainability and neither local retailer offers detailed planning instructions. And the Tractor Supply, they, they do not sell the um, blight resistant Dunstan trees. What are our needs? Well, we need a hoop house. We already have 300 trees we need to put in there. We need fencing for outdoor nursery locations. We need advertisement, a domain, a website, nursery supplies, and a log cabin retail site. So all of those are covered in our startup cost, which are gonna come in a little bit over $18,000 this year. And of course, as Pat mentioned, we're not gonna have any sales this year. We're gonna have sales starting in year two. And then our break-even point will be midway through year three. We'll be doing cash accounting and we'll be paid for our sales at the time of the sale. And of course, we'll pay for all of our supplies at the time of procurement. We're also fortunate that our fixed annual costs as well as our variable annual costs are going to be very low compared to the startup cost. Typically, both of those will fall under $1,000 per year. In closing today, we're standing where our 48-foot hoop house will be within the next two weeks. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Gauntlet Business Program, our sponsors, our mentors, our judges, and our competitors who are now our friends. Uh, we'd like to thank the Advancement Foundation for this opportunity to turn a dream into a reality. You can't always put passion on paper. We hope that you enjoyed our business plan. Um, we hope that you've heard a passion in our voices today. There's a statement that Aaron and I like, and that is, if you're with someone you want to be with, doing what you like to do in a place you want to be, then your su success is inevitable. You know, agritourism is, is just fun, and we want all of those to come out and visit us whenever you can at Horse Mountain Farm. So, we are Growing a greener, greener alligator, alligator pilots, one tree at a time. time. Woo!